What's going on, SPG? Strat Still City, it's Jawbreaker the Poodle. And today, we got another video to react to. All right, y'all, today's banger is a demonic mascot, and it's by Anomaly. That is creepy as hell. We're in for a treat, then. The renowned Mexican establishment, Wiguitos del Pachi, was a well-known entertainment center in the city of Tampico until 1999. It had been what operating since 1987, becoming a significant attraction for tourists and providing entertainment for both children and adults. Founded by Luis Enriquez Gomez, better known as Don Lechido, a man who had spent a significant part of Speaking his adolescence and adulthood in the United States, working in various fast food and children's entertainment establishments. During his time there, he accumulated enough money to return to his native Mexico and start his own business. That's cool. This venture began as a simple inflatable game stand beside a park. The unique circuit of games became a trademark of his creativity. Hmm. Inspired by the American entertainment system, some good times he on offered those. unforgettable experiences, encouraging users to return repeatedly. The business became a resounding success, fueled by savings and profits in his hometown, Tampico, allowing him to open a store in an outdoor shopping area. Hey, but, Thus, but, but what went wrong though? Get to the scary Pache stuff. Was born, named after his grandfather's nickname. Who had what? Making a change is never easy. Really? But having I thought it was gonna be a jump scare. Who had encouraged him to seek a better future outside his country. The subsequent years were immensely successful for Luis Enriquez Gomez. His success allowed him to hire more staff, not only for machinery maintenance and cleanliness but also to provide the best service to attendees, both parents and children. Luis had the idea to contact a friend he had made during his stay in the I'm United not States, talking a lot, but I'm actually who trying worked to listen. in the management of an entertainment venue in Tampa. This friend had achieved success with the popular Oso Benito, a character symbolizing their games Oso and attractions. Bonito. Luis brought the Oso Benito to Mexico, aiming to replicate he already the success looked, look at the figure and symbol of his growing business. As expected, the bear Nothing about him seems friendly. Mexican children, and the establishment like a junkie. became even more famous. Luis invited his American friend who was extremely pleased with the warm reception of his creation, the bear. However, the American found it curious that these mascots worked much harder than his in Tampa, and their constant energy was unexpected. He learned that part of the success was due to the physical preparation and athletic state of those beneath the costumes. Drugs? If mascots were the key to success, Luis needed the most prepared individuals to manage them. Luis responded with a friendly smile, mentioning that he also had a secret, but it was something he couldn't reveal. Drugs! It was a promise he had made to his grandfather, and besides, it was something an American would never understand, as some things in Mexico functioned in a way that only they could grasp the power of these secrets. Or demons. Passed, Drugs or demons. And nothing seemed to stop Luis except one thing, a heart attack. Over time, his unhealthy eating habits, coupled with financial gains and new opportunities, led to a life of excess, ultimately leading to his passing in 1998. How old the was The impact it? of the news was so profound that his family could Did they say when he was born? I don't remember. Despite the substantial profits, Luis had accumulated debts that made it impossible to keep the establishment running. In February 1999, Wigido's Del Pachi went bankrupt, and the facilities were abandoned. What kind of back rooms are these? The bankruptcy was so sudden and complete that it surprised many. Your bug, you slipping out. Derek, Luis's American friend, rushed for the funeral and, months later, as a gesture of solidarity with the family, decided to buy the establishment so they could financially support themselves. But, this but, but seemed it's like already a selfless adept, act and a result of the good friendship they had formed, but Derek had what another is this? intention. Don't do that! Firstly, 
He wanted to uncover the secret behind Luis's idea's success, and what better way than to have his friend's establishment to investigate thoroughly. Secondly, he aimed to review the records of each employee and understand why the Oso Benito had been so popular, not necessarily due to its cartoonish appearance but because of those who wore the costume. Strange surprises awaited it's him. It's like the staring day he into decided my soul. To photograph the interior and delve into the workers' records. Since the interior gave off a very peculiar vibe, there was a heaviness in the air, and the attractions were aesthetically horrendous. Derek couldn't it's believe that ball games pit. of such poor taste and design could succeed. The interior of this the place sometimes friendly? felt like a maze, easy to get lost in, what the? full of doors and corridors that led nowhere. Looks like the inside of Some an animatronic. Were neither familiar like if it ate in a hat, like, you know, body parts and stuff. rooms resembling empty warehouses, like lost intestines. in the shadows of the basement. The feeling of being lost in a building that hadn't been in used long enough to end up in that state troubled him. Yeah, none of this screams friendly or safe. This definitely looks some backwoods shit. During his extensive exploration of the interior, he found several Oh, how is this a mascot? Encountered them in dark. Can someone explain this to me? Hideous figures of the Oso Benito There's nothing friendly seem about to have this. been petrified, like strange statues throughout the establishment. <laughs> it was inexplicable that Luis had used what such What child's going to hug that? Entertain families. Their macabre appearance, even too explicit in terms of visceral details, turned what these the figures into almost demonic beings. What's that? Demon Grimace? Like, what the- No! As examined them, he it's noticed that they smelled what somewhat the? strange. Their pronounced mouths emitted moisture and a warm breeze. What? Why? The curious teeth What's the point seemed of that? so real that they were equally as hard as human dentures, perhaps even more durable. Despite being evidently <laughs> petrified, he it seemed that they occasionally the breathed and exhaled vapor in areas that were too cold. Who designed these characters? In the following Who weeks, said this was okay? Derek decided to get rid of all these It's no wonder you're adept, no one's well coming! As most of the inflatable games and decorations in the establishment. He didn't even take them to the United States to replicate their success. His intention was to burn down all the facilities. Yes, burn it down, no but don't rebuild it. Burn it down. Huiguido's Del Pachi again. Luis's family accused Derek several times of calling them agitated, demanding explanations for something they couldn't comprehend, not just because of language differences, but they had no clue about the altar in basement room 4 that he kept mentioning. One day, without warning, the American men returned to his country, giving orders to demolish the establishment and filing a lawsuit and then they found something really messed up, right? family from approaching the remains of the building or him. Everyone was truly stunned and incredibly puzzled by Derek's behavior, who had become somewhat paranoid about the entertainment venue. What's the for me? Romilia, Luis's widow, insisted that the American was too affected by the tragedy and the charisma of her deceased husband, causing him to lose his mind. They heard nothing more from Derek until years later when his son, bearing the same name, wrote them a letter and attached a photograph. Do I want to see the photograph, the though? The letter said, I apologize sincerely on behalf of my father. I know the events surrounding Luis's last days were very tough for you, and I am not one to speak of it. I also understand that you must have been very offended by my father's words and his strange behavior. I mean, yeah. You probably would have wanted to remember your beloved Luis by keeping the family business, and unfortunately, my father took it upon himself to bury that wish. But I need to tell you that he didn't do that without powerful and genuinely concerning reasons. I don't know how well you knew Luis, if you were aware of the details and most private aspects of his life because everyone hides things i can't deny it i mean true but we'll Having hide some it secrets is not a problem for any family but what he is beneath his entertainment venue i don't know if it's something you were aware of i just leave you with the photograph my father took do i want to see this though before. i advise you to take some time before looking at it it could be too intense 
but I know it's good for you to know, both for Louise's memory and your own safety. My sincerest affection- I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. What the fuck? The photograph in question showed a strange altar located precisely in one of the rooms in the underground storage of the venue. What even is that? Apparently, Luis had preserved the remains of his dying father there and offered them in a bizarre sacrifice to some black magic gods. The altar was full of letters with promises and oaths, where wealth and unlimited success had been bargained for a What did I say? Sacrifice. Drugs or demons? Luis had offered his dying father to the gods as a currency for the total success of his business. In that place, there were also dozens of small bear-shaped dolls, containing the same spices as voodoo dolls, along with precise instructions regarding the tasks they were supposed to fulfill. That's why the mascots never rested and possessed athletic capabilities. Makes they had sense. never been human beings but true demonic entities with a life of their own, blindly obeying Luis. Y'all really doing the most for y'all little establishment. The years passed, and Luis's family never wanted to touch the subject again after learning about the horrible demonic pacts. I mean, would you? With the little money they had left, they decided to hire a debris removal company to take away everything inside the establishment, including the Oso Benito mascots and the figure from basement room four. Did it eat them? It Since ate them. Since the family completely disassociated themselves from this, it was never known if they removed everything from the interior to be disposed of in a landfill. However, in 2009, Another Mexican man residing in the United States mentioned that he had worked in waste removal in the city of Tampico. He stated that, on many occasions, they sold certain items that might be valuable in the black market or directly to collectors. That was the Bad case idea. for a Oso Benito but, costume, oh no. which ended up in an antique shop in Baltimore. The shop belonged to the Hosewater family. Who specialized in creating cursed objects and used their warehouse it looks like as a cursed Sesame Street Muppet. Tours. Attendees often spoke of the strange bear that would appear in the wardrobes on the second floor. However, that story could never be truly verified. Perhaps it was part of the many myths surrounding that house, which often turned out to be the most scandalous scams and cheap tricks to make some extra money. Well, it doesn't have to be verified. Leave it alone. Despite a lack of clear evidence, the encounter with the Oso Bonito in this somewhat gelatinous form, subsisting in a liquid that is more that is likely expelled by its own body, could potentially explain the yeah. Why can't I read? Could potentially explain the strange flooding that the Jueguitos del Pachi experienced in 1995. During this incident, one of the pipe rooms, bathroom pipe rooms, burst due to the violent seepage of the somewhat reddish water keeping the establishment closed for three weeks because of the difficulty in removing the color from the walls and floor. This is disgusting, though. Why would anyone want this? What the? Yo, someone took a massive boo-boo. Oh, it's over? It's like, I'm sorry that I wasn't talking as much as I would like to, but I actually was trying to kind of listen and, and understand what was going on. But... Those were like some of the scariest animatronics I've ever seen. Who would bring their kids there and just think that that was a good idea? All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to boot the subscribe button. And until next time, Jawbreaker out and stay savage.